today I've partnered up with Myro to give back to my friend Allie, who we made over her living room with and surprise her with a whole new small bathroom. And before we get started, I need to apologize for lighting. There's no natural light in this bathroom. This bathroom is a little askew, so nothing is really centered because the sink is a little off, the toilet's a little off, and the walls are honestly not straight. So the, the, like making over this space was a little bit unique because it is so tiny and it isn't exactly perfect per the measurements. Allie has been my homegirl since I was 15 years old and she has done my hair and makeup for absolutely any and every event, photo shoot, whatever. So this was my gift to her while she was out of town and her number one request was storage. The current situation she has now is an Ikea shelving unit above the toilet and then underneath her vanity, her sink, she has just the typical, let's throw mouthwash or whatever underneath there, but she's not really utilizing the space to the fullest. Besides taking everything out of the bathroom as my first step, I also removed the door from the sink vanity because I'm gonna zhuzh it up and make it a moment. There's no way around it. Allie has a ton of stuff from product to towels, not just for herself, but for her clients that come over. I needed to think of something, but I was getting a little bit um, anxious. <laughs> Once I saw how much product I needed to fit back into the bathroom, I decided to start with the paint color. I went completely outside my comfort zone and decided to go with a green called Alpine Trail by Bear. And I was getting nervous once I put it on the walls because it was very dark and rich, but I'm gonna lighten up the bottom half of the walls with some shiplap. Before you come at me and say like, why didn't you paint the shower or the sink? I did not prioritize correctly because I had 6,000 other projects going on amongst this one and I just wasn't, Timing it appropriately, it takes four days to sit and dry with no water. And when she came home, I just didn't have time. I didn't want to tell her not to shower for four days, but I will come back and do a whole tutorial on my experience with that once she goes out of town again and I have the time to do so. Fun thing about doing shiplap on half the walls, you only have to do half the paint job. So that made me quite excited because I have no patience for painting. And in the meantime, before I headed into doing the shiplap, I started doing these little fixes that you can also do like replacing the shower head. This is a Moen shower head. I linked it down below for you. Her plumbing's a little bit weird on the back end, but I hung a new shower caddy that was black because I'm gonna be doing black and white throughout. Well, shocker, black and white is like my go-to. Dang it. But anyways, that's just gonna be a staple throughout this space. So I decided to tie it into the shower where I could. For the shiplap, this is my first go at it in person. It definitely looks like it needs some improvement, but I wanted to walk you through the process regardless. I stripped down some under laminate that's $11 a sheet for a four by four piece into six inch strips. Outside of that, I just grabbed my nail gun, two nickels, yes, two nickels, a trim brush, a roller brush, and some white semi-gloss paint. I started from the bottom, so I lined that first piece up and then just took my nail gun and secured it right into the wall. In between, I decided to paint with that trim brush the white, because you will see a little bit of the wall since you're going to use those two nickels to space each piece out on each end. And then you legitimately just repeat that until your heart's content. You can go all the way up the entire wall. You can go half seas, you know, whatever you want for your space because this is not your bathroom. This is not your design. Do what fits you, boo-boo. I decided to stop where that outlet was and I went behind the toilet as well. For the trickier pieces that you need to custom cut, I personally used a multi-tool, which worked great for this under laminate. For the nail holes, I went back in with some joint compound and a glove in my finger and just filled in all of the holes, which was 5,000 at some point, I'm pretty sure. Sanded those down smooth and then painted over it in the ultra white semi-gloss by Bear. And for my first go, I was really disappointed, truth be told, I thought it was gonna look a lot nicer, but Allie, when she saw it, absolutely loved it and that's all that matters. I added trim to the top to just round it out and make it look like it was a little bit more bougie. As I mentioned before, this video is sponsored by Myro, so let's take a quick second to dive into what exactly is Myro deodorant. 
I personally jumped at the chance to work with Myro because I have always been self-conscious of how I sweat and especially underneath my arms and my pits. Your girl, she's sweaty and it's gross. So I've been using Myro for a month. I'm using cabin number five, which I love that scent and I feel like a completely different person. I am not worried about my sweating issues, so I definitely wanted to share this with you. Myro delivers obsession-worthy, naturally effective deodorant that looks as good as it smells. They make their plant-powered deodorant with a custom blend of essential oil that release over time to keep you fresh and they also use a natural cornstarch and sage to keep you dry which means that this deodorant is also gluten free here's how it works and how you can get yours you choose your scent and the color of your case you get a refresh every three months delivered straight to your door conveniently timed for when most people run out you can switch scents press pause or stop literally anytime you want it's refillable case and mood inspiring scents are good for you and the planet that we live on because the case is refillable Myro refills reduce plastic plastic waste by approximately 50% versus typical drugstore deodorants. Doing good and feeling good should be an everyday thing just like deodorant. So to get 50% off your first order and get started today for just $5, visit mymyro.com slash living DIY and use promo code living DIY, L-I-V-I-N-G, DIY. You can press the link down in the description box below. There are a total of five case colors to choose from. I love this moss one. I'm going to gift it to Allie because it goes with her bathroom aesthetic. But we need to finish the bathroom first. I replaced the silver faucet with the black one I found on Amazon. Yes, I installed it myself. If you don't know how to, please get a professional or someone that does because you do not need leakage. Ew, that's a really weird word. Ooh, you caught me. See the shiplap? It's not finished. Oh, well, uh, yeah. So I filmed a million things in this bathroom, so I'm sorry if the timeline doesn't add up. To further make over the vanity itself, I decided to paint it black and add this peel and stick wood that I've used in my laundry room peel and stick wood accent wall. I will link that full tutorial for you. Updated the toilet hardware. I think that's always a given for the toilet paper roll, a little bit more modern. I added a wicker basket because texture is key. I cut down a piece of plywood to fit in that vanity underneath the sink to create a second shelf, but because the pipes are there, I had to cut out the middle portion large enough to fit around it. I also covered this in peel and stick wood, but I didn't do the bottom because you're not going to see it. I just taped off the edges after I trimmed them down. You can actually cut this with a box cutter, but it was, I was just was feeling a little bit lazy. But I put tape around those edges because I flipped it and spray painted the bottom black. The reason that I spray painted it black was because I wanted to get the edges of the plywood, but also like the little connection between the peel and stick wood and the plywood, just to make it look like a solid piece. I decided to not get crazy with the install. I just used four brackets, placed them where I wanted to, and painted them black so you couldn't see them. I did adjust that shelf to go a little bit more down because I did not like this double wicker basket moment. It just looked awkward to me. So I decided to move those to the shelving above the toilet and put the one that I thought I was going to use for above the toilet underneath the vanity. It works out like that sometimes. I wanted to do the floating shelves, obviously scale them down, but the ones I did in my laundry room, I wanted to recreate and then make a sleeve of the wood moment to show you a new way of doing things. It did not work out for me, and it's not because the build didn't work, it's because the wall didn't like me. Although this next step that you're about to see is not in any which way professional, I did want to make it easy for you guys not mitering down the sides to fit each other and all of that jam because maybe not all of you guys are going to do that. I just cut the pieces straight that were going to fit around that spine or that like structure that we just made so we could just shimmy it right on over. I filled in the nail marks with some wood putty, sanded it down to smooth, went in with my early American stain. I've linked all the materials that I possibly could from this bathroom makeover down below in the description box for you and once this was stained it was looking gorgeous I went over to install it and I you guys I just don't know the walls curved the drywall started pulling it was moist oh my god there were so many things I have never been more frustrated her walls will not take any Woo! I'm getting heated because I'm getting over this bathroom makeover, but I wanted to share this because I have tried this three separate occasions, so I'm opting for just regular brackets and just biting the bullet so I can get done with this makeover because I, quite frankly, am exhausted. You heard me? 
don't come at me. I just bought these brackets at Home Depot. I wanted to show you a new way of how to do those floating shelves, but it just was not working. This, what I'm about to show you, is not supposed to be like weight bearing. It's more so to aesthetically close this vanity off. I hated this gap on the left hand side, so I cut down some under laminate and painted it black to match the vanity and honestly just nail gunned it into position to fill this void because it was bothering me. I pulled out the medicine cabinet. I'm going to have her landlord actually patch that back up because there's a few things behind there I don't think we're supposed to, so we'll let him handle. In the meantime, I hung up this mirror, and why I say in the meantime is because yes, I love this mirror. I like how it has like a little shelf on the end of it. I just am not sure if it's for the space. So I want it to sit there for a couple of days, see if it grows on me, but you guys let me know in the comments down below. I personally love the tray above the toilet because you can style it to suit whatever the bathroom is for. So if it's for a guest, you can put a bunch of things that the guests may need. If it's for you personally, you can put your poopery in your room spray and your candles. You can add extra loofahs. It's totally up to you. You're actually about to see her reaction when it wasn't even finished. Are you ready? I am so ready. Oh my God, Rachel. <laughs> oh my God, this looks so good. Uh, <laughs> Do you, you like it? Are kidding me? Really? Yes, this looks so good. And you have so much storage. Oh my God. So I have to treat you, you like this. This is insane. And the, yeah, you oh love it? God. I love you so much. Oh I wanted to make it like oh this God. is so crazy how different it looks in here. That's my first DIY I've ever done. I forgot to mention that I did switch out the light fixture and I changed her bulbs to daylight ones since barely any natural light gets in here. Allie also had some DIY in her because you see the drip marks on that door. She painted a couple years ago and I still need to fix that. Please ignore the touch up paint that I got on the tile, but the reason that I have two separate bath mats are because that door is way too low to the floor to put any sort of large mat across the entire tile space. It will not close. Thank you once again to Myro for making this entire bathroom makeover possible for my friend Allie. They actually gifted me two deodorants, so that worked out really nice. One for me, one for Allie. We are going to revisit this space once she goes out of town again for a lengthier amount of time. We're gonna paint the shower, the sink, and then I want to paint a design on the tile potentially. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'll see you Wednesday for another DIY.